If a customer comes in with an issue with their TPMS, do you know where to look? It's not always as easy as it sounds. We're going to show you why next. Hi, my name is David Sickles with Tire Review. While many TPMS sensors use an antenna to help it communicate its signal, don't assume this is always the case. On most vehicles, there is a single antenna for the four TPMS sensors. While the antenna may just be for the sensors, it's also possible it could be used for the keyless entry system, because the keyless entry system and the TPMS sensors both transmit in the same radio frequency range of between 315 and 430 Hz. Some vehicles have a dedicated module and antenna, and some vehicles have four antennas on the vehicle and the wheel wells. Some Chrysler systems have three dedicated antennas, with the ignition switch module antenna acting as the fourth antenna. Unfortunately, it probably won't be clear until you pull up the wiring diagram. The signal from a TPMS sensor or a key fob is a one-way conversation on most vehicles. There are those aftermarket replacement sensors and key fobs that can be programmed wirelessly, but this is a different set of signals and antennas. However, just when you think sensors do not receive signals, that's when you find a system that has transmitters in the wheel wells. Instead of waiting for the sensor to transmit on its own, a transmitter in the wheel well will send a signal to the sensor at around 125 Hz. The signal tells the sensor to transmit a signal. The main advantage of this type of system is that individual pressures can be obtained while the vehicle is stationary. While this type of knowledge is not required to determine if the sensor is not functioning, it might prove to be essential when diagnosing a problem where data from one corner is not making it to the module. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.